You really ought to do actually because it's very good. It's called either Stranglers 4 or Rattus Norwegicus and I found out, at least I was told, I don't know whether it's true or not, that uh, Rattus Norwegicus was uh, originally the most prominent British rat but it was elbowed out of the way by Rattus Rattus and uh, is no longer to be found perhaps anywhere, I don't know, certainly not in Britain anyway. That may be completely fictitious, the whole thing, I simply don't know, I'm very gullible leave anything as anybody tells me. Anyway, the point I was going to make was that if you do buy one of the first 10,000 copies of the uh, LP, then you'll also get uh, a nifty little single along with it. The A side of the single has, I'm afraid, a terribly rude word in the title, and uh, if you heard it, you'd be out doing all kinds of unmentionable things in the street. So we thought that it'd be probably safer to play you the B side, which is called Choosy Susie. <laughs> Oh, 
And although I might destroy their careers by saying it, this LP, uh, Stranglers or Rattus Norwegicus, is uh, very neatly packaged, actually. And uh, it's a good LP, I think. And that last uh, second track was taken from the LP, hanging around, and before that, the single which you get if you buy one of the first 10,000 copies, and that's called Choosy Susie. Of course, something better change. <laughs> on tonight's programme and uh, they'll be back I promise you that yeah. let me tell you a bit about the Stranglers first as Brian has typed out so neatly here uh, they'll be on a concert the Saturday on Saturday April the 23rd just a week after Eddie and the Hot Rod and they're going to be headlining for the first time at the Roundhouse on Sunday uh, 17th of April and uh, expect their t-shirts will have terrible words like bottom written on them and uh, the support will be the jam anyway the next one from the Stranglers is called Goodbye to Loose
Well, the more I hear of the Stranglers, the more I like their stuff, I must admit. And uh, that's called Goodbye to Lucy. Good tune, I think you have to agree. And big favourites of Lone to Peel Acres. William, a baby, hasn't expressed an opinion on him yet, but then again, he's not expressed an opinion on anything yet, so uh, some people like him as well. Really? <laughs> from my throat as the stranglers and that's called hanging around their first number for us tonight and uh, a different version of course of that occurs on their forthcoming lp rapid norwegicus which also seems to be called stranglers four just to confuse people even further <laughs> Yeah. 
is Thorn Glares, and that's uh, Go, Buddy, Go. And I must admit, I was wildly overexcited when I saw that the Stranglers LP had gone into the BBC ch- album charts at number four. An almost unprecedented thing, I think, for a debut LP. Uh, you might be able to correct me on that, or well, Paul Gambaccini certainly would be able to, but I can't remember anything comparable. And uh, speaking of the LP, Rattus Norwegicus, I have a letter from a J.W. Miller of Fetis College in Edinburgh who sets me stri- straight about rats. He says the black or ship rat, Rattus Rattus, was a carrier of bubonic plague and is a native of Southeast Asia. It arrived in Britain in the Middle Ages, perhaps brought back by a crusader. It lives in the top stories of buildings, nesting on rafters or behind pipes. As it passes under cross beams, it leaves an oily smear from its fur. Yuck, says J.W., and I think he's quite right, so to say. Then he goes on to talk about our chum, Rattus Norwegicus, the brown or common rat, Rattus Norwegicus of Central Asia, arrived in Britain in the 18th century as a result of increased shipping activity. Despite competition for food, this large, tough, aggressive rat slowly drove the ship rat back to the ports such as London, Bristol and Liverpool. As a name to conjure with. The common rat has a heavy body, eight to nine inches long and a seven-inch tail. Its coat is long and shaggy, greyish brown, uh, lives in there, so very unpleasant. It can swim well, he says. And could I play something for everyone in the Ariston fifth form of sitting over levels this coming term? And also Campbell, Stevenson, Max and Mark. Velocipede, it looks like, of Sunderland. I'm sure it isn't and uh, a whole bunch of other people anyway. Well, thanks very much, J.W. Miller, for that interesting stuff about rats. Highly educational programme, this.